Diamonds in the Rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Hi, I'm Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me James Caesar, who is a defensive back out of Ferris State. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, sir. How are you? Doing well. Um, can you just describe to our viewers a little bit about your overall career? Uh, okay, so uh, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. Uh, went to East English Village High School. Uh, out of there, I was getting getting mostly recruited by by Division two schools in Michigan, so most of the schools around the GLIAC and things like that. Uh, and then late, late, late in January, like right before signing day, uh, some FCS schools started coming in, talking to me. Then I ended up taking my official to Southern Illinois and, and, and ended up committing on my official. Went to Southern Illinois uh, out of high school back in 2016. Went there, played my true freshman year. Uh, then going into my sophomore year, they switched my position uh, to safety. Then going into my junior year, they moved me back to corner. Uh, then I eventually got hurt uh, the fourth game of the season, tore my labrum and broke a broke a bone in my shoulder. So I had to get labrum surgery. So I was out for the remainder of the season. Then and uh, after that season, I uh, decided to transfer schools. Uh, didn't really want to sit out a year. So I decided to go and transfer it down, try to try to find the best Division II school possible. And I was getting recruited uh, by most of the schools in Division II anyway out of high school. So kind of was an easier process to transfer and things like that. And my relationship with, with Coach Tony and Nice here at Fair State, it was just it was a great relationship and he was the opportunity he was gonna provide for me, I just couldn't turn it down and decided to come to Fairs. And my season at Fairs felt like I had a I had a good season last year. Uh ended up with six picks, uh had some good stats, was the GLIAC defensive player, defensive back of the year. Uh, and had had a couple of different accolades and things like that with with all American and all conference and things like that. So overall, football career has been great so far. It, it's been nothing but but treating me good. Can't complain. Cool. Well, I mean, again, like you said, I mean, this past season was really great for you. Um, you know, getting those six interceptions, um, also being named a Cliff Harris Award finalist. So I mean, that pretty much makes you you know really one of the best defenders in. Um, really just at the small school level. So, um, uh, cool. So, James, I was going to ask you, what do you believe is the best part uh, about your game? I would say the best part of my game is my mentality and my approach to the game. Uh, I feel like every single day that I wake up, I just I lock in and key in on, on what I got to do to get better that day and, and what I got to do to, to put myself in the best position possible to get myself to the next level. Uh, it, it, it's days that I, I'm tired and different things like that. Probably don't want to work out and stuff like that. But my mentality is I, I got to get to the next level, and I can't. You can't just get there. Like, you're not just gonna be be put in a position to where you just in the NFL. You got to work for it. And you got to. It's certain things that you got to do, and it's, it's a certain lifestyle that you got to live and, and obtain to to reach that reach that status. And, I just look look at every day as like it's my last time playing football, so I'm gonna always give it my all. Cool. So, uh, you know, James, you talked to me for a little bit about uh, you know just having some experience playing safety. Um, I know you've also done a little bit of inside, um, you know, there at nickel. Um, what what kind of corner are you? I mean, are you a, a, a press, a man, a cover? I mean, do you define yourself that way? I mean, uh, kind of. I don't know. Describe yourself just as a as a you know as a guy there in the secondary. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, so the the type of guy I am, I I really I think I, that I'm more so of a a press man type of corner. Even though I try to I try to build my game up so strong that it's not really no weaknesses in my game and stuff like that. But I'll say my the best asset of my game is is playing press man and, and manning up on on guys' best receivers and, and trying to take them out the equation to, to make it easier on our, on our on our defense and our team. Cool. And, you know, I was going to ask you, um, you know, everyone's situation is different with the uh, COVID-19 restrictions. 
um, I just want to see like where you were at, like what, um, where, where you've been working out and maybe what are you doing to uh, better your game? Yeah. So, uh, we kind of, we kind of got like a little, little workout group with, with, with my position group and things like that. So we work out every day, get some field work in, get a lift in. Then on the weekends, we'll probably hit the track or, or hit the sand and stuff like that. So, just trying to get trying to get all my guys to where we we're still working out and still trying to stay ready for this season, even though nothing's really been said about about whether we're playing or not or the modifications that that's going to be coming. But it's just all about just just staying ready and and, and making sure you you're in the best position possible to be successful. Gotcha. Well, I mean, again, I mean, we we're all praying for some football, but um, you know, we we really don't know what's what's going to happen. Um, a lot of these different conferences. I mean, I know some guys have, uh, you know, put things off that, you know, in the fall already, but um, obviously, mm. like you said, you kind of always need to be prepared. Um, right. I was going to ask you, um, well, um, it's a weird question. Uh, do you see yourself as a trash talker? I definitely see myself as a trash talker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just just where I grew up from, and 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 the guys that I played against. It's just that's just that's just how the how the game was, and that's just how I came to it. So it's definitely a a, a part of my game, but I, I try not to let the trash talking get 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 so get so overwhelmed with it that I'm messing up on my technique, or I'm I'm so caught up in, in trying to talk stuff to this receiver that I'm not that I'm not locked into the play call or anything like that. So. It's just about finding a, a, a thin line between trash talking and staying locked in. Cool. And, you know, uh, I, I realize that um, you, you did a little bit of basketball in, in high school. You did a little bit of track. Um, so uh, it's great that you're, you know, a multi-sport athlete. People see that, you know, you're a very competitive guy in doing that. Um, tell me what kind of a guy you are like uh I don't know off the you know off the field um I mean is there any particular um interest you have or um is there I don't know maybe uh I don't know um maybe a charity of sorts that uh you would um you know uh support if if you had the money to yeah so I I feel like once I'm once I'm able to to have an impact and, and I have the money to to do the things that I would like to do. I feel like I would definitely want to give back to to a cancer, to a cancer foundation or something of that sort. Uh, since my dad passed of cancer uh, about two years ago, so I definitely want to want to support that. And I will also, I will also support my my local seven hundred seven travel team. Uh, Max X Maximum Exposure. Uh, I would definitely, definitely try to try to invest in in that program and things like that because. That's our youth. I mean, the youth is the the future of our world, and just trying to to give them opportunities that that I didn't have when I was younger is just. I feel like that'd be the the, the most beautiful thing in the world. Cool. And uh, tell me about maybe a memorable play that you were a part of um, that really I don't know maybe defines you as a player. I think my most memorable play was last season, first game of the season. Uh, we were playing Philly. Uh, it was, I think it was down. It was the third quarter. We were up, but it was it was a very close game, real tight game. So Finley, they were they were backed up against against their own goal line, so they were on the one yard line. And we playing we playing press man. So I'm I'm checking the receiver. I'm I'm checking him. So he he kind of run me off and, and give me a little little dummy route. And all I just hear is the crowd just just yelling and just roaring. I don't know what happened. So I turned around. When I turned around, I just see the running back just straight up the middle and just, just I just see him running with nobody in front of him. I don't know how many yards I was behind him, but I just put my head down and just got the running. Then I just, just so happened that I looked up, I was right next to him. I just toggled him, put his feet up under him, toggled him. We held him to a field goal that drive, and we ended up winning the game by one point. So I feel like that was a, that was a game-saving tackle that 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 people might not, might not think is such important as probably the, the interceptions, pick sixes and things of that sort. But I feel like that's the play that, that really defines the type of person I am and, and the way I live my life. Try not to 
quit on a play and, and don't quit on anything in life. So I think that that's the play that defines me the most. Cool. So, I mean, uh, you know, oftentimes you do get, uh, you know, some guys there like in the secondary that maybe aren't as physical. Um, but, I mean, uh, again, that play kind of defines you not so much as just a guy out there to, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, obviously you want to get the turnover. Um, that's kind yeah. of uh, an awesome thing to do. But, I mean, just the regular things like tackle is, is really awesome that you're able to bring that to the table. And, of course, being able to run somebody down. I mean, people really want to see, you know, their defensive backs having great speed. So, um, right. you know, you're able to chase that guy down, which is awesome. Uh, hey, James, as we wrap up, a um, couple more questions for you. Uh, tell me your why. Why do you play football? What's your motivation? Uh, I play football because I've just – I've grown to love it so much, and I, I spent so much time doing it and, and, and working on different things that I feel like it's just a part of my life now, and I, I can't look to, to no other thing that, that gives me a feeling that me playing football gives me. I mean, of course, I got my family and other things that makes me happy, but outside of those things, football is probably – something that makes me the most happiest person on earth like when when I go on when I step on that field like I, I have no power like I feel like every problem that I have is, is gone I, I don't even think about it and this it's just kind of just like my, my my safe haven it's just just a place where I can just get away from everything and I just feel like my, my family is is one of my, my my biggest motivations I mean just trying to get my get my family out the environment that we live in just trying to put them in a better environment that I feel like they that they deserve, I, I just feel like that's just that's just why I get up every day and, and do what I do and, and do the things that I, I have to do. Cool. And, you know, give me your final pitch to a professional team as to, you know, maybe why they should draft you or sign you. You know, what do you bring as a teammate? Uh, as a teammate, I'm just a guy that's going to come with that hard hat, lunch pail mentality. I'm going to come and put the work in every day, whether I'm tired, sleepy, or anything, or no matter – no matter what situation is going on in my life, I, I always, I always bring it every day. And, and I try to be be a leader on and off the field, uh, just making sure just all my guys just just doing the right things and, and in the right environment. I just feel like I'm just I'm just a person who just who just tries to do, do the right things at all times, whether someone's looking or not. And I'm going to bring it every day. Cool. Well, uh, James, this has been great just uh, talking to you about football and everything. I, I really appreciate your time. Um, again, this is uh, James Caesar. He's a cornerback out of Ferris State, uh, really one of the best cornerbacks in all of small school. Um, definitely check him out. Um, right now, he's preparing to play this season. Who knows? But, um, hey, James, best of luck uh, this season and moving forward. Uh, I pray that you stay healthy. Thanks for your time. Oh uh, yes, yes, definitely. I I just want to say thank you for allowing me to just just get this platform and, and get my name out to to scouts and coaches and other people. That's so I just really want to thank you and I, I appreciate you a lot. Sure thing.